Okay, some people have been having a little bit of trouble installing some of the graphics. So we're going to install some reflective material on a helmet. First thing, what I'm going to show you is this material is very, very resilient. Now I'm going to take a piece of reflective. I am just going to absolutely horrify some people. And I am going to take it, and I am going to kill it. Well, not really. Pull it apart it down and watch what happens with a little bit of heat. all nice and smooth again. So don't be afraid of this material. A little bit of heat, it'll go back to where you want it to be. Off goes this piece, we'll grab a fresh piece. This is probably six by six, and I'm going to install this on a helmet. Uh, just pick a nice curvy spot to play with. We'll pick right here, nice and curvy. Play, place it on here. And I'm going to start at the center. And you always want to start at your center and work out. And I'm just going to use a little bit of a cloth here just to make it glide a little bit easier and smooth itself down. And as I get to the edges, you can start seeing some puckering and some waviness and everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it just a little bit of heat. Working with this, just going to work it out. You get these waves, this is classic where you're getting this wedge shaped wrinkle. Just work at that point and just push on the point. And as you push on the points, what will happen is one big wrinkle will start to spread out into many smaller wrinkles. Which is good because that means it's evening, evening itself out. If you don't have a heat gun, I got this cheap one. A uh, hair dryer will work, you just have to put a little more time onto it. I'm just pushing the wrinkles out and grabbing on the points and just working a line. See, I'm just working this line right here. Now I'm going to use a felt edge squeegee for some of this, but if you wanted, you could use a credit card and put it in a piece of tissue paper and do that, just for the sake of this video, so I'm not hanging, I'm just going to use my squeegee, what I'm used to working with. Every now and then, you can use the hard edge if you get like a really tight wrinkle and just push it and it will push out. Actually, I'm going to use my little credit cards. They do have their uses um, because they will conform to an irregular surface like this because they'll bend. Just work it in there and work this edge. If you get a little wrinkle or whatnot, don't be afraid to pick it up. Try not to stretch this reflective material. If you stretch it too much, you will break the reflective beads in it. It's not the best thing in the world. Warm it up. And if you stretch it a little bit, but you haven't broken anything in the beads yet, just warm it up, hold it up, and it'll actually try to shrink itself, which is a good thing. Grab my little cloth here, and I'm just going to work on this edge. Just keep 
a little tension as you go. Get that edge is down. A little bit of a crease right there, and I'm just going to push it down. Okay, coming over here to these edges. Warm it up. And just work it. I'm working with this part of my thumb. And what you can do is just push it with your thumb. Push it with your thumb. Put a little bit of pressure down. And just work those wrinkles out. Now this one here has got a pretty good, good little wrinkle. Not a wrinkle, just a pucker. Warm it up. Let it kind of even itself out. And work it. One of the things you can do when you get a wrinkle like that, you can roll. Roll your thumb. Just like that. And this last little bit. There. All nice, smooth. Take your time. Don't stretch it. Use a heat gun. Thank you. Cypress Graphics.